Hey, hey. Well, hello there. Um, 14th of March. So, today we have St. Jerome. St. Jerome. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Till your good is better and your better is best. That tells me that we have to keep going. We have to do the little things day in, day out. We have to continually repeat ourselves to get better and better and develop. You know, when we first started um, as babies and we started crawling, we would topple over. But we'd keep going and we'd get better at it, we'd get better at it. Same with when we started to walk, same when we tied our shoelaces, same as when we get dressed, same as when we do a, a, a tie. Um, women with makeup, uh, or uh, men with makeup as well, don't get me wrong. When you first did it, you weren't very good. It's like shaving. You know, when you first shave, didn't do a great job. But the more you do it, the better you get. And it's like anything in life. Keep doing it. And if you can do it to the best of your ability every single time, that best is going to get better. And you're always going to develop. You're always going to get better. It's always going to be improving. And that's why St. Jerome says, good, better, best. Never let it rest. So don't settle for good. Don't settle for, oh, that was better. Get the best. Be the best in whatever you're doing. Because if you can be your best, it doesn't matter if someone else is better than you. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about comparing and competition because that's just stupid. Put that out of your head. I'm talking about you and bettering you and improving you. That's what this is all about. It's your power within. It's you finding and unlocking the best you, the best version of you. And that can be down to the simplest of things of making a cup of tea or making a coffee or making your bed or brushing your teeth or brushing your hair. It doesn't matter what it is. It's you being the best you, but it's you being the happy you at that best level. It's you finding you as a person. And that's what it's really about. And this, this, this quote, I think really em emphasizes that because till your good is better and your better is best, you've still got a way to go. And I'll tell you something, when you can do something to the best of your ability and, and you know you can't do it any, any better, you will feel so proud, so happy with yourself that you'll shout it from the rooftops. The sense of feeling and emotion inside when you can certainly say you've done the best you can is incredible. And in a competition, if you lose, you won't feel as, yes, you're going to feel bad. Don't get me wrong. Everyone gets upset when they lose, you know, in, in a competition or a team. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. You're not happy. But if you can hand on heart, turn around and say, I did my best. Then at least you know that you couldn't have done any more. And that that is the best you can do. At least you can walk away with your head held high going, well, I did the best I could. At least you're not walking away going, yeah, well, if I'd only done this or if I'd only done that, that's regrets. You don't want regrets in life. Don't go down that road. So to quickly recap, St. Jerome, good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. Make today count. Go and make something better today. And tomorrow, maybe you'll make it the best.